So we've been living a little arbitrary. This is our living room tent. This is where we hang out at night. And the dogs have broken the doors, so they don't really quite shut right. So it's cold in there. And uh, here's where we sleep. And it's cold in there too. There's where we poop. Here's where we cook. And my brother and sister gave me that grill for Christ Christmas, pre-Christmas birthday. And it's wonderful. And then this is where we keep some of our goods. And here we are, we've decided that it's getting damn cold. So we're making a structure. What better place to make it but in that um, kiln that he made. So he's putting down the boards to make a room. So this is what you see here is like a little platform. So we'll be off the ground. And this is the start of it. And then we're right next to the main house that uh, we're gonna stop on right now because there's no way we're gonna finish it before the cold and we don't want the wood to get ruined. So on the back of there is the shed that he made. So we're connected to the shed because it's got a wood stove in it. So that will be hopefully toasty, but it's a daunting process. You can see that he's using logs to hold the frame up. They're not staying. They're just temporary until he gets other stuff built. And you'll see it move out and other pieces move in. And then the rest of this is going to be showing you just the process. And uh, some of it I sped up a little bit, but I think the whole video is like six minutes. But slowly that tent thing comes down. We're going to keep on the left we're going to keep that uh, we just have to reorganize and that's what we've been doing kind of is reorganizing because <clears throat> damn it gets messy when you're working but there was a little sh little overhang on the shed so we're going to keep that and put a top on it and uh, store some bags up there our go get up and go bags But he made it kind of high. I'm kind of wondering if that was a mistake. Because who knows if it's going to heat this room or not. I mean, it's a little room, but we will see. Hopefully, it just takes the chill out. And it's all I want. My beautiful daughter bought me some hot water bottles. And at night, we heat them up. Put them in our bed so we are not getting into icy beds. And that is truly lovely best gift ever <laughs> but these damn chickens are always with us they're in the tent they just i'm done with that so this is going to actually keep the chickens out unless we invite them in which we're not going to but that brown one is a poop a lot and she just goes everywhere the other ones they don't seem to poop as much but she just goes wherever she is And here Steve is uh, getting the Joyce's together and the framing and uh, measuring, make sure he's good. But you can see that two of the logs are gone. And they'll uh, progressively get. Now, the only thing we had for plywood is paneling. So we're going to use paneling on the roof and um, we'll get some better plywood later and maybe make this into like a little guest house or something. Not really sure, but I mean, it makes sense really. So there'll be a, a nice little warm area, but he's got a lot of work to do at this point. But unfortunately, we run out of the paneling, but we did get the roof done. So to me, the most important part, we put plastic over it. And here we have, he had enough for half. So we've got a thick poly 
around the edges. Now I do want to replace that with some thicker plywood at some point and insulate, but that's down the road. I, we, right now we just need to have some wind resistance and to keep the heat in. So we'll see how much it does. But I mean, for right now, rain doesn't get in there. We've sat in there in the rain. And uh, this little bump out area that he's doing um, is a bathroom. Now, here's the woodshed attached to it. You can see the uh, fireplace in there. And here is the toilet area. So he's still got, he bumped out the wall. So we have a little bit of a bigger area. And now he's working to finish the floor. And then we're getting, we're moving in today. So hopefully he gets that damn wall done. Cause I've got my cousin and her husband coming up to help us get that big butt bed out. All right, so we'll have that um, an update for you guys a little later to see how it all fits together and the walls done and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and yeah that. going off grid with Sandy and Steve see you soon bye